what's up everyone Ike is here bringing you a tutorial on how to do slow motion with Twixter this is the sort of thing that I'm gonna be showing you how to do pretty cool in it so let's go ahead and get started gonna go ahead open up after effects new composition 11 seconds long 59.94 frames per second I will name this Twix tall oh. Twix tall tutorial click OK and then we're going to import our clip this is AK47 and high rise it's a different clip to the one I showed you but still the same principle go ahead and drag our clip into the timeline resize this a little bit there we go and what you want to do is see this film reel clip the frame blending button here this one right there you want to make sure that that's clicked because that's kind of the key to getting smooth slow motion because what it will do it will blend the frames in between frames if you know what I mean so it will create super smooth slow motion and then once that button's clicked you want to go to layer frame blending and turn pixel motion on so you can see now we've got pixel motion on and that button clicked there and then what you want to do is Twixter 4.5 and you'll get a bunch of of controls and settings here a majority of it you can play around with but a majority of it you don't really need to um to mess about with so we're going to go here and you see here 59.97 frames per second so we're gonna go input frame 59.97 frames per second because that's what my footage is and if you've got say like um dazzle clips um dazzle clips won't work on this it's it will look really bad i mean usually dazzle clips are like I think 30 frames per second and you do need 60 frames per second to do this sort of slow motion stuff and then what you want to do is we we'll drop down this go to effects twix to 4.5 and then output control and then we're going to set a keyframe click this stopwatch for speed at 100 and then we'll move forward a few frames to where we want the slow motion to start so I want the slow motion to start about here so I'll add another keyframe we'll move forward a few frames uh, about there yeah and then we'll drop the speed down to about um, we'll say 3 yeah 3 is alright click enter and then we'll move forward some frames we'll go um, about there yeah and then add another keyframe so from this keyframe to that keyframe is all slow motion there and then we'll move forward a couple of more frames and then make it 100 back to normal speed so it goes normal speed, normal speed slow motion, slow motion and then back up to normal speed and you can see here because we've stretched the clip out it ends a bit earlier than than what we want it to so to solve that we're going to go to layer time, enable time remapping I mean there might be other ways to doing this but this is just the way that that works for me and goes with a lot of stuff 
this might not be the way that you do it, but this is just the way that I do it and the way that it works for me. So, so once we've added the layer, enable time remapping, that just allows us to uh, to stretch the clip out so that you can see it carries on after the after we've stretched the clip out. And that's that's basically all you need to do. I mean, you can play around with the motion sensitivity and but to be honest it looks pretty good as as it is and Twixter won't work on all clips this won't work on every single clip you've got you need to try and find a clip with um, not much motion in if you know what I mean because if you've got a clip with too much motion in it you'll start to see that the blurriness and the warping and the distortion effect that I'm sure you've all seen before so you need to try it trial and error a lot of it is trial and error finding the best clip finding the best settings that work for you but this is just a, a rough estimate guide to give you the sort of a starting point if you know what I mean so here's what we've got so far Yeah, you can see there's virtually no distortion or motion blur whatsoever. I mean, there are, there is a tiny little bit, but for the majority, it looks pretty good. And on this clip, you'll see that I haven't added the color correction or the null light factor that I did on this clip. But I'm sure you can you can have a play about with the colour corrections and, and the lighting and stuff for yourself. So Yeah, thanks for, for watching the tutorial. I hope it I hope it helped you. If you've got any questions about Twixter or any of my editing or anything like that, just head over to my channel, send me a message, I'll I'll be happy to help you. And uh thanks for watching, see you later.